<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Matthew once again, and I know that I was supposed to do a review of Twister, just an honor Bill Paxton, since he's no longer with us, but today we're doing something different for right now, and today we're going to talk about Logan, and of course my guest here today is Jonathan, in case you don't know, he did my true reaction video, actually no, I take that back, we... Uh, did true reactions on two movies that came out in 2015. One was Jurassic World, and the other is the teaser for Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. So, all I can say is, welcome back, Jonathan. No, it was, it's definitely good to be back here. You know, it's just, you know, I, I like doing these videos with you. You know, it's just fun to come on here, just talk about movies, you know, that we like or dislike or do trailer reaction. You know, just do any video. You know, it's just, it's just fun to do. Right. So, uh, he has a bit yeah. one on on YouTube with me since we've done two videos, since I've done all the true reactions by myself and the movie review, the special inside looks, but now this is probably the first time since he's ever done one since um, um, 2014, I believe, when we did those videos. Because Director Roll and Episode 7 did not come out until like 2015. Oh, yeah. I, I was I was almost going to say 2015, but yeah, it's definitely 2014 because that, that would make no sense that a teaser trailer for Jurassic World or Star Wars Episode 7 came out in 2015. Right, so, but anyway, uh, we're going to talk about Logan, the final chapter of the Wolverine trilogy, and of course, Hugh Shackman. And of course, let's have a quick rundown of the Wolverine movies. The first movie, it sucks. The second one, Step in the Right Direction, my little brother said it was okay. To me, I think it's a very good movie. Yes, I know, people have issues with the third act, but nevertheless, I needed the fun. So, well done, James Mangold, for putting Wolverine in the right direction. And now, let's talk about Logan. And before we get into that, this is just our first impression of the movie here. So my opinion may not be settled when I first saw it. I mean, I know I've done one before where when I first saw Jurassic World for the first time, I was already all good to go. But now for this one, this could be something different where my opinion could change quite a bit. Yeah, like, we're, we're not just really going to, like, talk properly or something because, like, we're just going to, like, talk, talk and all that. You know, this, like... We're not going by any scripts or anything, you know, we're just like, we get on the camera, then we film it right now, so, you know, so we're not, like, going to be so prepared with this. And just like what Matthew said, you know, it's like, you know, this is just our first impressions, you know, it's like, this is like what we think about it right now, you know, so, and just like you said, you know, opinions can change, you know. Right, so, but anyway, I guess all we can say is, um, it was good. It was really good. I... I thought this was the best of the Wolverine movies. It was just a really, really good movie. Yes, it is a very good movie. And so far, it's really sad to say, this is a complete misopportunity. A complete misopportunity, as I said. So, we had, I know he disagreed on this one, we had one good comic book trilogy, and that was the Dark Knight trilogy. And I know some people say Iron Man is a good trilogy, which... I hate to say it, I'm not a fan of Iron Man 3, but... I, I don't care for any of the Iron Man sequels that much. I mean, I like number two and all, but... I mean, I'll give you my thoughts on the Iron Man sequels if I review them down the road and give you more reasons why I don't like Iron Man 3, but... But just not right now, so that'll be a, That's like another video, so... But this one, the Wolverine trilogy, it was a missed opportunity. We could have a perfect trilogy, but instead we start with a bad movie, the first movie, and you get the second one that was getting in the right direction, and then the third one... Boom! And when it comes to sequels, when they said they're not as good as the first one, these sequels do a much better job than the first Wolverine movie, and they do it right. Uh, I agree. Yeah, sometimes sequels can be better than the first movie. Yeah, like, the Captain America sequels come to mind. Like, I thought Winter Soldier and Civil War were definitely better than the first movie. Even though, I don't mind the first movie that much, but I definitely agree with people that the sequels are better than the first movie. Mm. And of course, I know I ever mentioned about the Dark Knight sequels, but of course they could be better than the first movie. Well, the third one is debatable, and to me, I'll talk about... I don't understand what I'm saying here, but... I'll talk Dark Knight Rises in another video, which, that to me, is a very underrated movie. And I saw Dark Knight is a very good sequel, God of Part 2 is a good sequel, and The Dark Knight is a very good sequel. Terminator 2 is a good sequel? Oh, yeah, totally. So, um, yeah, but, so, yeah, Logan is a very good movie. It's pretty much the final film of the Wolverine trilogy, and it's definitely pretty much more like you have these three main characters who are on the run because the bad guys are pretty much hunting down our main characters. So this is, so this is pretty much not really like the last one where you get, like, a big final battle or anything. This is pretty much plays out like a low-key movie. Which, I, I, that's, 
you know, I never thought of that, but yeah, it definitely does. It's kind of like the last movie, you know, that the Wolverine plays out like a low key drama. Yeah, this is definitely, that's definitely it right there. That this it definitely does play out like a low key drama. This is a one hundred percent low key movie. The last one, I would say like seventy or eighty percent low key until the third act. That's probably my guess. Yeah, like yeah, the Wolverine gets extremely crazy with the third act with that Transformer samurai looking thing. Or a uh, shred former from Michael Bay's Ninja Turtle movie, either way. Maybe that's where Michael Bay got it from, who knows. <laughs> but which of course I will say I like the Wolverine better than Michael Bay's Ninja Turtles. Well, anything's better than Ninja Turtles. Michael Bay's Ninja Turtles, you know. And I'll talk about that one another time if I do a review of Michael Bay's Ninja Turtle movies. And no, he did not direct them, just to point that out. I know. I know that part. So but anyway, we're talking about Logan. So yeah, Logan is um what do we think about this movie? Um, I gotta say that it is very well directed by James Mangold. It's beautifully well shot. It's definitely brutal and rated R and definitely darker than any of the Wolverine movies. And, oh yeah. And yes, you get to hear some F-bombs, which we want to get that out of the way. You do hear F-bombs. And Peter Stewart does a really good job, which I don't know if there's much to say about it, except he was really good and definitely... Also, he's also really funny, I will say. He's definitely really funny when he's dropping some F-bombs as well, which totally yeah. unexpected when we saw the Red Band trailer. Yeah. And I saw the boy Holbrook, who I'm not really familiar with, since I first heard he was going to be cast in the new Predator movie, who's absolutely a really good bad guy, so I really thought he, I really dug his character quite well, especially how much he, I love to hate this guy, especially you want Wolverine to shut him up. Oh yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I thought he was I thought he was really good in the movie. Very good. And the music is very well done. It sort of gives you a bit of that western vibe to it. It says Margot Beltram did the music for Street Ten Yuma and work with Jason Mangold movies like um The Wolverine and Street Ten Yuma. Yeah. So I didn't know he did the Wolverine. Y yeah, he did that one. Hmm. So forgot about that. Right. So, <laughs> and of course, I saw the little girl named Daphne Keene, who's definitely very new to us, and this this is definitely gonna make her a star in the film. So I think she really does a fantastic job. She's really, she she's a scene stealer. Is what I'm point, trying to point out. He, she really steals every scene in the movie she's in. I hope I hope she's in more. I hope she's in more good movies. You know, definitely a really good child actress. Right. And also, of course, um, I thought the movie was very well paced. Mm -hmm. And no, I did not cry during the movie at all, but I was very emotionally affected with the movie as well as the characters. But you, I know you were crying. Yeah, I cried. And no, we're not going to spoil that at all. So if you have not seen the movie, then you need to go see it right away. So no, we're not jumping to three, two, one spoilers. No, we're no, not. We're, we're, no, we're not going to do the spoilers at all. So this is totally spoilers three. <clears throat> and huge job, man. I think, in my opinion, that man deserves an Oscar. He really, really is definitely the Wolverine. I love him since the first X-Men movie, the second X-Men movie, the third movie ain't that great, but he's definitely the best part. Same thing with the first Wolverine movie. He's still the best part. His cameo first class was funny, and Apocalypse was awesome. And the Wolverine, yes, he was really good on that one. But this one is really his Oscar-worthy performance. Oh, uh, did you mention Days of, Days of Future Past? Oh, yeah. I can't forget about Days of Future Past, so thank you, Johnson. Yeah. So, always good to have a brother on my side. So, um, yeah, um, any negative comments? Um, well, it's it's kind of very early, just because, like, we just came out of the theater, you know, you know well, we, we came out of the theater, like, minutes or hours ago, you know? So, you know, the, the movie is definitely fresh for our mind. We definitely need more time to think about it. Like, I, I can't think of one negative thing that, that comes to mind, you know? I mm -hmm. guess maybe the villains, who knows? But it's very early, I just... I really need to let the movie sit in my head, or maybe I just need to, like, watch the movie again, just to see, even though, well, you know, just, just see if, you know, if I can point any negative things. But nevertheless, it definitely is pretty flawless, you know, Yeah. So in, in my opinion. Yeah, it, it could be a flawless movie. I think I might be seeing somewhere to an A or an A-plus on this movie, but uh, for right now, I guess all we can say is we definitely gave this movie a... A two thumbs up. Yeah, Cisco Nieper style right there. Exactly. So, <clears throat> I think that's all we can say about our first impression of the movie of Logan. But if you have not seen this movie, please feel free to check it out. I think you're all going to love it. If not, then oh well. But hey, you're welcome to disagree with our opinions. Yeah, you said we're, we're not going to get mad if y'all have a different opinion. Yeah, so it's to each of our own. And as much as we can't give away too much in the movie, um, I guess we'll say one thing. I, I'm not sure we'll we consider that a spoiler, I think. How about that Deadpool teaser trailer? Um, 
hilarious. It was it was hilarious. And did not expect it to be the first thing I saw when the movie started. Like I thought it was just gonna appear at the end, just like every typical Marvel Studios movie. But no, that was I thought it was really funny. Yeah, it was it's definitely pretty, <clears throat> pretty funny and all. So it has nothing attached <laughs> to the movie or right? anything. It was just there just for just for the fun of it. So it has nothing to do with the plot or anything. It was just there just because um, like what I said earlier, just for the fun of it. Right. So, but, yeah, I think that's all we can say about Logan, and I promise I will do review. Me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I burped twice, so. Okay. So, yeah, sorry, sorry for pointing that out, people. So, so please excuse the interruption here. As I was saying here, I will review Twitter some other time here, just to honor Bill Paxton. So, that's our further impression of the movie, and let us know what you think of this video. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let us know. Feel free to put your comments down below, and also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So, um... And before we go, I guess all we can say is, Hugh Jackman, we love you in the first Wolverine movie. Um, actually, I have the first Wolverine movie. I mean, I mean, yeah, we love you in the first Wolverine movie, but the movie's not that good. But what, X Men movie. Yes, yeah, what's what I meant to say is, we love you since we first saw you in the first X Men movie, and now we're definitely are gonna miss you. But who knows if you want to come back or not? But nevertheless, we you will always be the one and only, the Wolverine. Yep. So. Take care, Hughes Jackman, and good luck what you do best with your movies, and we're definitely looking forward to seeing them, whatever you do. And, yeah, so thank you for watching. Take care, and I will see you later, and thank you for joining with me. Yeah, you know, I... I, I <laughs> I'm kind of, like, messing up what I'm going to say, you know, but, um, yeah, you know, I, I plan on doing more videos with you, you know, just, it really just depends on if I'm up for it, you know? Anytime you need. So, yeah, so, yeah, so... Yeah, that's all we can say, except, you know, definitely go see Logan. Very good movie. Yeah, <clears throat> nothing more, nothing less. So, thank you, and have a nice day, or night. Take care. Bye-bye.